Okay, so let's start by selecting everything and deleting them. Press K, turn off the guides, confirm actions, turn on smart join and you know. Click add blank object and let's type spiral stairs. Press enter. Okay. So uh, the easiest way to do that is select the uh, box tool from among the grease pencil tool set and let's draw a rectangular shape like this. Enter. I switch to user perspective and let's expand the menu and increase the extrusion a little bit. Let's give it uh, 0 0.4. And since we are going to build a spiral staircase, let's turn on the array, expand the options, and let's get rid of this offset because we don't want to offset it this way, but actually on the z-axis. So let's make this zero, increase the copies a bit, and since this is a spiral staircase, we need to give it some rotation along or around z-axis. 15 degrees let's reduce that 12 degrees um, let's see how, how many copies do we need to make a perfect 360 let's do a little division here 360 divided by 12 30 copies and now let's increase the Z offset See, we already went up one flight of stairs. So you can do the math on this, how, how, how much to increase this, but uh, I'm just eyeballing it at this point. And if you'd like to go, let's say another floor, it took 30 copies, you can increase this to 60, and you have two flights of stairs. But let's not go crazy go back to 30 and okay so we do have the steps here that was easy press k to set it and let's see if we can uh, quickly build some uh, railing for this press switch to camera view and let's see Let's use the, uh, you know what, I think I'm going to use the, use my hands. I'll draw a shape like this and press K. Uh, as you can see, a wall is already applied. Let's turn it off temporarily. And that shape I drew, I meant it to be lines only, like this. Um, let's switch to user perspective again. And I'd like this not a circular shape, but a cubic profile. So to do that, just click cubic lines. And we can uh, play with the dimensions a bit. Let's reduce the height and maybe increase the width a bit. And also, let's reduce the simplification. So let's try the even spacing. And okay. That actually doesn't look bad at all. Okay, I don't know if it is too high though, maybe we can uh, reduce it a bit. So turn on array first and click expand the array profile transform. Let's scale the profile on Z just a little bit and then slide it down again. And let's do that in camera view so we can line it up perfectly. And 
let's move the profile on y a little so that we can center it better on each step 0 0.2 seems just right okay so far so good and press k to set that and now the railing and let's do that with a second anchor click add blind protein and name it spiral stairs railing and this created a new grease pencil object and a new blank object called spiral stairs railing but you'll find that the settings are still the same as soon as I start drawing something. Let's go to the camera view. Let's take the circle since we are using the geometric shapes today. Let's enter, tab to go into Grease Pencil Edit, select everything, press G to line this up a little better. Go back to draw mode and press K. We actually don't want this to be arrayed at all. Turn off array. We want to spin this. Click spin and make the axis Z axis. How many copies we had there? 30 copies and 12 degrees rotation. 30. And we're going to offset the spin like this okay I think yeah that's pretty much it let's see if we can uh, slide this down a little turn on and what happened there oh, let's go to use the perspective spin profile transforms if that happens don't panic it's probably because the camera is snapping to a different angle and things look weird temporarily just turn on and off any button and the menu and it'll fix it so okay so we wanted to slide everything down a little bit and let's do that by doing this and we can also slide it on X just a little bit to make okay this is the weirdest stairs ever but well all right so it looks like I need to increase the offset a bit more and let's keep clicking until hmm. okay I could use some math there but my brain is frozen right now so I'm going to eyeball it and now the circle is a bit too crude so let's reduce the simplification a little All right, that looks right press K to fit it all right and we could uh, and we should also add a central axis but let's do that in another day so this is just the power of the array tools and combined with spin tools and here's our spiral stairs halfway done but so far so good Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.